Today, I'm building a team to beat the 2008 Redeem team. Every time I fail to beat them, I will spin from the upgrade wheel and add a new player to my team. The goal of this video is to build the perfect team to beat the 2008 Redeem team in as little attempts as possible. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. Do you want to put your basketball knowledge to the ultimate test? Well, you're in luck because today's video is sponsored by Sleeper Picks. Basketball has never been more exciting with players like LeBron, Steph Curry, KD, Luka, Jokic. I can go on and on. And with these players and more, you can win up to 100 times your money by making two or more fantasy basketball picks. Choose up the eight players you like and pick more or less on stats like points, rebounds, assists, and many more. And now that you understand how it works, let's put my knowledge to the test. So here we are on the Sleeper Picks app. And before you get to the screen, you're going to want to sign up with my promo code SleeperYNG to get up to a $500 match on your first deposit. So let's go ahead and put something together. I like Jalen Dern for over one and a half assists. He's hit that every game the last four games. And also you're in the NBA. Two assists should be a no-brainer. We're going to do Giannis for a double-double next. Killian Hayes to make one three-pointer. Oh my God, he hasn't hit a three in the last four games. Well, you know what? He's due. That, that's what we're going to go with. And we're going to get my guy Tyler Hero for over three and a half assists. So here's all four of our picks. We can lock this in for the amounts they have here, or we can do our own custom amount. Use promo code SleeperYNG and you'll get up to a $500 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for details. Currently operational in over 25 states. And once again, shout out Sleeper for sponsoring this video. Enjoy the rest of the video. So here's the team I'm starting out with, all 40 overalls. And here's the redeemed team with Kobe, LeBron, Chris Paul, D Wade, and the rest of the guys. Let's see how this first matchup goes. Well, we got smacked by 130 in game one. LeBron and Kobe playing perfect basketball games. And we got some pretty good players over here. Well, we put up a good fight. Well, it's kind of hard to build a game plan to beat a team like this. So I just kind of have to build a team to attack matchups one-on-one -on -one and just get the best guys to defend guys or score against guys. I just got to attack mismatches. That's really all I can do. Even though it's hard to find mismatches with a team like this. Well, let's go ahead and get our first spin of the tier one wheel. It's going to be a bench warmer 71 to 75. Okay. We're going to bring in a guy who Kobe said gave him the most problems. Let's bring in lockdown defender Tony Allen. We're not going to win any games, but at least Kobe's going to have to work for his buckets. Let's see what happens in our second attempt. Well, game one, we lost by 130 again, and we held Kobe to only 10 shots, so I guess we got the ball out of his hands, but he still had, you know, 15 assists. There's not much Tony could do about him passing the ball. And we just lost by 150. Well, Tony, you did your best, man. I just, I, look, you got four of the guys who are 5'3 and can't play defense, so, you know, there's not much you could do. No class on this basket. That's what you get, Wade. They really gotta fix this. Like, how long's the game been out? Like, three, four months? Like, we, we gotta fix this, bro. Anyway, I like the start we have so far. We just gotta keep adding players that like, are good matchups against these top guys because the tier one wheel is not going to give us too much. Oh, Kobe won finals MVP. That's cool. Thanks, Tony. It's now time to get our second player of the tier one wheel. It's going to be a free agent 65 to 7. I'm going to have to dig deep here for a player. We're going to bring in a mid-range guard who would be a tough guard for a small point guard like Chris Paul. Let's bring in Sean Livingston, 70 overall. All we can do is attack matchups, so let's keep doing it. Only lost by 103 in game one. LeBron and Wade having perfect games. And Livingston giving us 16 points, 7 for 12 shooting. It's working out pretty good, even though they could double and triple team him, so I don't really know how he's scoring, but I guess Chris Paul's leaving him on an island. I don't know. Well, we're still losing by more than 100, but that's okay. I'm doing the best I can with 40 overalls and 270, so you really, you know, I, I can't, you can't really expect much. But I think I grabbed the two best players possible to go up against this Redeem team. We have our final spin of the Tier 1 wheel coming up, so hopefully it's a good one. Rough game from Livingston. Once again, here is our third and final spin of the Tier 1 wheel. We got ourselves a superstar. That's a 2% chance to land on. Okay, we have to make the most of this pick. We're going to bring in the guy who has the playbook on guarding LeBron James. Let's bring in Prime Kawhi Leonard. I thought about taking him B, but again, we're all about attacking matchups. So let's see if Kawhi's a difference maker. We only lost game one by 80. Held LeBron the 13 points. That's not bad at all. And Kawhi shot one for 13 from three. My God. And now we're losing by less than 100. So shout out Kawhi for making that possible. There goes Wade. Oh, okay. Nice move, Wade. Yeah, you're all good, dude. I love the picks we've made so far for this team, especially getting Kawhi out, which is lucky. Well, Kawhi, keep this up. We'll need this when we're actually competitive. Well, here's our first spin of the tier two where we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a starter 81-85. That's not bad. We're going to bring in a big man who's strong, can hold his own defensively, and hit an outside shot. Let's bring in 81 overall, Brooke Lopez. Obviously, Brooke's not an 85, but he won't get baby by Dwight. He can hold his own, and he can get Dwight on the outside to knock down a shot so we can have spacing, especially in the paint. Let's see what happens. And we lost game one by 70 points. Looks like Dwight had a pretty good game here, 8 for 10. So, uh, Brooke, you're not really helping us. But he spaced at the floor, and he got five blocks. I, I can't really be mad at this. And now we're definitively not losing by 100 anymore. Ooh, okay, Kawhi. Okay, Kawhi. The only thing obviously stopping us right now is just sheer talent. But I think I've done a great job getting guys who directly match up against the guys we're going up against. So I think we're, we're doing good. But at the end of the day, it's the NBA and talent's going to win. So we got to just, you know, get more talent. So let's go ahead and get our second player of the tier two. It's going to be another starter. Okay, we got. I probably need a power forward here. I know I'm trying to just bounce at the roster here. But yeah, we can get a power forward. We need someone who's going to throw Bosch completely off his game and cause a wreck. Let's bring in 85 overall Dennis Rodman. I'm aware this team can't shoot, but that was the best matchup for Bosch. Let's see what happens this time. We lost game one by 70 points. 
points. And Chris Bosch had 16 and 21 and four blocks. All right. We need you to be better, Rodman. We just can't score right now. That's a problem. I have noticed that the spacing on my team is terrible. So yeah, we definitely got to clean that up. So some guys are going to have to move to the bench, but it's all good. You're not going to win much with a bunch of 70 overalls and 190. It's not going to work. Time to get our final player of the tier two. It's going to go ahead and be a bench warmer. 71 to 75. That's a yikes. We're going to bring in someone who might get cooked on defense, but gives us all the shooting we need. Let's bring in Steve Kerr. It's hard to find guys who are both elite at shooting and defense, so I did my best. Let's see if it makes a difference. In this game, we scored only 54 points while giving up 31 and 6 to Kobe. And there goes Steve Kerr, our sharpshooter, 2 for 11. Nice, man. Well, this is easily the closest game we played in. So I guess Steve Kerr is making a difference, but obviously we just need more talent. And we need more players. We got six guys playing like 40 minutes a night. I mean, it's, I know it's the finals, but it's just not going to happen. Especially when they have a full roster and we don't. Why? please save these games for when they actually matter, but I appreciate it. And now it's time for our first spin of the two. There was going to be a role player 76 to 80. We're really getting the bottom of the barrel today. Let's bring in someone who could change the course of an entire game. We're bringing in the ultimate bucket getter, J.R. Smith. I was actually going to go with Caruso, but I think JR's unpredictability is very valuable to a game like this, where literally the entire team is more talented than us. Let's see if JR goes crazy. And we actually won game one. We won by five points. LeBron went five for 14. Kobe two for 11 when we sub and Jay onto the starting lineup. And Jay, exactly what I said. The unpredictability of Jar Smith. He may drop 38 in this game and drop 40 in this game, but at least we're getting wins on the board. Well, we got gentlemen sweat, but it's all good. And it finally doesn't glitch where, you know, my team's celebrating a fake championship. Look at JR, man. Like, he will actually stay on this team and probably be our sixth man eventually. He's too good to not keep, but let's go ahead and get our second spin of the tier two. Or sorry, tier three wheel stars, 86, 90 overall. That's a good pick. We're going to grab another wild card similar to JR Smith. Let's bring in Victor Webinyama. Although Dwight has a clear strength advantage, Wemby's ability to hit outside shots and block shots and also just be completely unpredictable will help us win these games against guys who are way more talented. Well, they took game one, winning by 20. And there goes JR. Look, he took 19 threes. Okay, Wemby took 12 threes. You cannot be shooting that many threes, bro. We're actually going to take him down here in game four. We're still down 3-1 now. And look at Kawhi, Wemby, and JR popping off. And we're going down here in five games. So we're making this slightly interesting. But again, one, need more talent. And two, we got to put together more than one win. We just need more consistency. Enjoy your championship. We need a consistent J.R. Smith. And let's go ahead and see what we get on our third and final spin of the tier three. It's going to be a superstar 91 to 95. We're going to grab a big man who's better off playing power forward. Let's grab 94 overall Anthony Davis. I know Steve Kerr still our point guard, but it was a no-brainer taking AD. Hopefully Steve holds his own. We beat him in game one again, where we won 121 to 104. Nobody on their team scored over 20. And Kawhi, J.R., and AD all got in their bag. And we would go on to get gentlemen slept. Not going to lie, a little disappointed. Our biggest issues are obviously Steve Kerr still our starting point guard. And I don't think we have that much scoring off the bench. Like, all of our guys are defenders. Tony Allen, Dennis Rodman. I'm not really sure who else we really have. So, we gotta get some scoring off the bench. Even Steve Kerr scored 14. Good job. Let's go ahead and get our first player of the tier four. It's gonna go ahead and be another superstar, 91 to 95. We're gonna grab an upcoming superstar in this league that I trust to play defense and score. Let's bring in Shea Gilgis Alexander. I thought about taking Luka, but I just didn't want him getting cooked on defense. I think we got a real shot. We got a puncher's chance in game one. Let's try to get a stop here, though. Wade driving to the basket. AD defending. And he... Smoked it. Okay, it was on the rim there for a while. We need a three here, though. I don't know who we're going to go to. Okay, what are we doing? Hello, we need something to happen. Shay, three. Oh, he missed it. Oh, Brooke with the rebound. Put it up. Just put You had Jason Kidd on you. Bro, y'all are trolls. Well, that was a rough game one. Hopefully, we bounce back. We got a win here in game three. Look at Shea popping off. We're down 2-1. This is a big game here. Down six. We got a chance. LeBron using the boozer screen. LeBron trying to drive on Raman to boozer. That might do it. I'll give him one chance. Shay, what are you doing? Nice pass. Never mind. Turnover. Okay, we're done. We're probably cooked in this series. And just like that, we're still going home in five. It's our bench at this point. I think we match up really well, especially in the starting lineup. Just our bench is terrible. If we just get a couple key pieces, we'll be good for sure. Like our bench is Dennis Rodman, Tony Allen, Brooke Lopez, Steve Kerr, and Sean Livingston. Like, it's just a mess. Let's go ahead and get our second spin of the tier four. It's going to go ahead and be a starter 81 to 85. This will help the bench at least. We're going to get ourselves the ultimate glue guy. We don't know if he's a role player or an all-star. Bring me Derek White. I made sure to grab a shooting guard so JR can not come off the bench and help the bench score because they just couldn't score at all. We got to win at least two games. Well, they got us here in game one. Need Derek White to guard up Kobe a little better. We got a good shot here in game two. Wemby running full court here where Jason can guard him. Wemby trying to get to the... Oh, what? Okay, I don't know what that shot is, but we'll take it. Melo trying to drive on Wemby going up. There's a foul. And I think Wemby just fouled out of the game, so I think we got to bring in Brooke Lopez. Kawhi going at LeBron. Five seconds on the shot clock. Kawhi, hello. Three seconds. 
Kawhi going to the basket, lays it up and hit it! One for Kawhi Leonard! I knew you were the right pick for LeBron, man. Just, he's just, he, you're in his head. Let's get a stop here. Why is Chris Paul wide open? What are you guys doing? All right, don't leave anybody open. Thank you. Chris for three, kicks it out to Kobe! Oh my God, I, no! Guys, stop. No, not LeBron. Like, come on, bro. Two seconds left here. Someone's got to get the ball. Shit. Like, that's the shot. And we lost in overtime. That's unfortunate. We should have won that game. How do we just leave them wide open twice? Well, we took game four. Not that it really matters. We're still down 3-1. And as I said, it didn't matter. We lost in five. That was a disappointing series. We should have easily made this go to six or make it interesting. We just blew it. Time to get our final spin on the tier four wall. It's going to go ahead and be a star 86 to 90 overall. We're going to grab one of the smoothest players in the NBA that can also play some defense. Let's bring in Paul George. Having PG as a six man is crazy. This should be good for us. We keep losing in game one. And Paul George had four points. Nice, man. We got a chance to make this a series down 2-0. Wemby, three. got fouled. Okay, we got bailed. Got to knock all these down or not. Second one for Wemby. Dude, dude, what are you doing? Are you that bad of a free throw shooter? Well, like, we just got one point out of that. Kobe for three. Yeah, we're in trouble. Jay trying to drive here. Kicks it to Wemby. Throws it down. What a pass from Shea. LeBron trying to drive on Kawhi. It's not there. He's That's good defense. That There's literally nothing we can do about that. Shea, it's not there, man. It's not there. It's not there. Oh my god, you're a bucket. Please, no nonsense. Three seconds left. Chris Paul trying to drive. Snatch back midi. Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to do about any of that. I mean, he was right there. We, we guarded them both times. The Chris Paul shot and LeBron was content. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Let's just go ahead and sim the game, bro. We're taking our lot. We got swept. I, it, it has been nasty, man. We haven't gotten a goat on any of the wheel spins, so we got to get a goat. And thankfully, we're here on the Tier 5 OC. We got our first spin. It's going to be a star 86 to 90. We're going to bring in the cheat code. He can't shoot, but he's going to do everything else. Let's bring in Prime Ben Simmons. He'll be able to run the show off the bench to help JR and Paul George get good shots. Well, they pulled away on us in game one. Ben Simmons doing and Ben Simmons things. And we got swept again, man. This is gross. I'm just not sure what we're doing wrong right now. Maybe I need a better center? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like we have all the right pieces. I really don't know what we're supposed to do. Another superstar 91 to 95. We're going to be taking one of the greatest scorers of all time. Never won much in the NBA, but he's going to win on this team. Let's bring in T-Mac. Shea, T-Mac, Kawhi, AD, and Wemby. I like the start in five. And we finally won a game one. Looks like T-Mac's putting in work with 26 and 14. We have to go up 2-0 going back to Miami. Chase, what? Oh my God, Shay, I love you. <laughs> I love you, bro. Lock in, Shay. Oh my God. Shay's getting freaky to the basket. Foul. We foul, baby, baby. Let's make it a four point game. There we go. Kobe trying to drive, spinning, step back, midi. Dude, stop. No, stop. This is ridiculous. Like, the, every single shot they're making is just ridiculous. And I don't have scrubs out there defensively. They're pretty good. Shay, what a dime to Kawhi. LeBron sleeping on defense. Good defense, y'all. Good defense from Wemby. Now we just got to play the foul game. So as long as we don't give up threes like we did in that other game way back, we should be good. We'll live with that. That's awesome. Keep taking that shot. Okay, that'll officially do it. This is our series to win. It's right. It's now or never, honestly. And we just took a 3-0 lead on the Redeem team. Looks like T-Mac was the difference. And we're going for the sweep right here. We got Ben Simmons in the game. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Why did Wemby just let him lay that up? Wemby in the po- What is that sh Bro, Wemby, you, you gotta stop with the trolling, bro. Just get the ball to T-Mac. I'll live with that. T-Mac, three! Knocks it down, Tracy McGrady, making every single difference for this team. Michael Red, three! Knocks it down, keeps him in the game. Are you serious? Do not let Ben Simmons- Bro, 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 bro. Someone pass the- pa Bro, pass the ball, please- Oh, no. This is your moment, Ben. This is your moment. This is your moment, Ben. They're saying you're not clutch. And we don't believe them. Charge! That's a charge! Yes! Okay, that's a charge. Just some free throws here. Should I sit? That'll be... T-Mac, you're a troll. MVP! T-Mac. How does Ben Simmons make two free throws and T-Mac misses two? I, I, I just don't, don't get that. Okay, LeBron on the post. He missed it. Okay, that'll really... Dwight going. Oh, who blocked that? Was that Wemby or AD? I don't really care. T Mac, make a free throw. 
Thank you. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it. We got him in a sweep here. T-Mac was the difference. And I think the best thing about this team is we don't have a single player over a 95 overall, so 96 and above, which I think speaks to actually building a team here and not just grabbing all the best players. Like, we don't really, like, they have five better players, I think, like, five or six better players than us just overall-wise. But we still stepped up and took them down. T-Mac was finals MVP. Well, that'll go ahead and do it. Let me know what you want to see next. Goodbye.